There's this book by the French writer Boris Vian called Le Cum de Jour, translated as Froth on the Daydream. In it, he proposes a delicious image, an eel timidly coming out of the water tap to dine on pineapple-flavored toothpaste. The other day, I got this juice extractor for $30 off some woman on the internet. The ad said she had used it during the celery juice fad, but she had fallen off the bandwagon. So naturally, I jumped in. On good days, I stick carrots in it and make juice. I enjoy looking at the micro bubbles that form, creating tiny mirrors. The problem is that it leaves a mess, and when the motivation wears off, dirty dishes begin to pile on. Not just that, dirty clothes, junk food, and trash. And life itself gathers dust. Then, another Monday comes along and I stick oranges in there and the creative juices flow. I get distracted with the pretty colorful bubbles and their tiny elegant worlds. Sometimes, I get to do the dishes, and the foam flies. And I learn to coexist with the foam and the juice and the dirt of another filthy wave. Another Monday, another smoothie. Pulpless orange juice, even with a little bit of champagne. And sometimes, I just feed on blood. Oranges. On blood oranges. I love them because of their metallic, intimate, and terrifyingly familiar taste. And they're loaded with vitamin C. See, I'm healthy. I even eat avocados. Eventually, I wash those dishes too. <laughs>